So this video is about how I saved $50,000 at the age of 18. Let's get started. So these are the saving habits that helped me save $50,000. And trust me, these habits are gonna help you save so much money as well. So my teenage years, I was working as a waitress, so I did make good money with like tips and stuff. So what I would do is, right when I received my tips, the first thing I would do is I would quickly go into my bank account and just deposit it. Because people, what usually happens is when they have cash at their hand, like in their hand, they just have a tendency to just spend it right away. Like, I don't know if it's just me, but a lot of people also like feel that way too. And I notice a lot of people doing that too. It's like when you have cash, you just feel like spending it. And that's why I usually quickly just go put the money in my bank account because it just happens to me. Like I remember times when I would just have money that I would just like cash out my hand, I'll just spend it. But whereas when I didn't have cash and if it was usually my credit card or debit card, it's like I would just, I don't know, it's just kind of weird. It's like this psychological thing, but it just, it works that way. So I did four years of school for undergrad and you know, each semester it's like you had to pay like thousand, two thousand dollars for textbooks and what I usually did is I never bought any textbook. What I did was there were so many online resources where you could find the textbook online and you know, a lot of students, they just wasted so much of thousands and thousands of money on just textbooks and for real, like I'm glad I didn't do that. Like I can't believe that people would even spend that much money on textbooks on textbooks like that's just shocking to me because you could actually save so much money just using the online resources just with all the school textbooks i was able to save about 16 to 18 thousand dollars another thing is control yourself when you go to malls or stores or anything like that even online a lot of people do shopping online and you might just see so many ads where it kind of makes you in a way kind of manipulates you into like buying obviously that's that's what they do like ads online that's like the whole purpose of it but it's your job, your responsibility to control yourself, control your mind and know that to budget yourself and not to overspend and to just also save at the same time too. For me, the important thing is that you should save more than what you spend. Always keep that in mind. Again, you should save more than you spend. You see ads on Facebook or Instagram, just be aware to not just buy anything that you don't need you know like don't buy anything that you don't need like if there's something that you really need then go ahead and buy it like there's a difference between a need and a want a need is more like a survival thing right and want is something that okay maybe it's something that your ego wants and it might be something that's more materialistic just know the difference between the both if you look back in your life and if you think about all the things that you bought like a month ago or two months ago if you really think about it were those the things that you really 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 needed in your life most of the time it's only like materialistic stuff that you might have saw you might have seen on an ad and it probably looks good and you probably want to get it it's not something that you actually need i don't know about you guys but i have a bank account where i have a savings account which means part of my paycheck like a part of that goes into my savings account and that's something that i cannot touch so the reason why i did this is so that there's kind of like a strict control with how i spend my money and how i save and really help me save a lot of money i don't know if your bank account is like that but if you're your bank account has that option if they do have that option for you with your bank then just go for that it really helped me a lot it really helped me and allowed me to save that amount of money another thing that really helped me out is just putting a limit on my credit card so you know credit cards they could go from thousand dollars to ten thousand dollars um it depends on your bank but i kind of put a limit like a low amount for my credit card so i don't spend as much and this is good because it also helped me get a good credit score as well next thing coupons 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 i know like some people might not like using coupons but trust me coupons helps coupon is like a lifesaver like you can use coupons for food, for shopping, for clothes shopping, like anything you can use coupons and you could save lots of money. I used to always collect coupons and use it all the time and I didn't care what people thought. Like sometimes people might think that's like super cheap, but trust me, it helped me save a lot of money. Another major thing that helped me out is just keeping track of my spending. So each month I would have a book and I would kind of write how much I spent and like if there's something like huge amount, I kind of 
try to see what I could do better next time to not spend as much and just it's always important tracking things down so you know what you did was wrong and you could improve yourself next time and you kind of see what worked and what didn't work save money or um, some of the other habits that I used was I was always into like investment and stuff whether it's like the stock market or crypto but I'm not a financial advisor so just educate yourself about it and if you are gonna get into it just make sure you know what you're getting into and just be aware of like any information and stuff before you put your money to something a lot of us we probably spend a lot of money outside obviously and mostly related to like food and stuff like when we go outside we feel like you know we need to buy food and like you know when I was working at a job it's like I actually never packed food um, that was like one of the mistakes that I made and then I changed myself into like stop like not spending money outside to buy food and then I started packing my own lunch and it made a huge difference. I actually started saving a lot of money and it helped me so much because usually when we go outside we feel like we need to buy food and it's so important like if you pack your own food it's like you won't need to even have the thought of like spending money because you already have food with you. No way when you're hungry your brain is not working like you can't really think properly so what you do is you just end up spending so much money on food when you could save that money so it's important for you to like pack food you could cook your own meal you could just pre-plan it and you know this way helped me a lot and this actually was a huge thing that allowed me to save fifty thousand dollars at the age of I wanted to make this video so that you guys could get some good information about like saving habits and if you like this video comment below and let me know what you think and if you want to see more videos like this subscribe down below to my channel and hit the notification bell and I hope to see you guys again.